For those of you wondering, this is what he looks like up close. And that's how hard he is to move. Which is why, despite the golf in skill, there are useful things Dewa no Jo can help Mitake Umi practice. Key is he to the huge team effort which should lift Mitake to Ozeki. Emphasis on should though, for there's plenty of fighting to do. Not least for third division prospect Atami Fuji. 2 and 0 after just two days, but now 2 and 3 and winless for a week. Would Atami completely blow his promotion chance today? <laughs> Almost. But that armlock throw was awesome. Perhaps only doable, nay thinkable, in such dire straits. It's quite a skill to check behind while fiercely resisting, isn't it? Different to how I planned it, he understated. A really close shave, so I'm delighted to pull that one off. A 3-3 score doesn't lie, he's just about ready for a salary. And stablemate Terunor Fuji says, Atami, if you've come this far, you simply have to believe in yourself. Now, we know Hiradoumi can dance his way through Division 3, but how about Division 2? Featuring for the second day straight, Midori Fuji. Midori deployed all manner of defences to wriggle free, but was cornered at the edge and throttled. Divisional talking point of the day though was this one. An easy win illegally gained, ruled the judges. Kotokuzan DQ'd for pulling hair. In Division 1, seeking to revive January joys of 2018 was Tochi Noshin, facing the man he beat to claim his one and only cup. An outside grip liftout might look tricky, but I'm used to it, so no problem, said the Georgian, who is well placed to stay up. But what would he still give to turn that clock back? Kotonowaka has been going great, but his slim hopes for the title could only be sustained by beating Ishiura. Quite a contest ensued.
and Ishiura's tenacity triumphed. His defense against the underarm throw is superb, hence the messy ending. But I persevered well, was the smaller man's take. I simply have to finish him off at the ring's edge. But there's no point in getting hung up on this, said Kotonowaka, who against this man is now 0 and 5. That meant Abi could move above him with this first win in three, the result, he claims, of getting legs moving faster on the practice dohyo. And 34-year-old Takara Fuji joined him on eight with an expert right side defense and left parry. Today was the second anniversary of his university coach's death. Coach Ito taught me how to use the right arm better. Before that, I was all left side oblique stance, he said. The important thing for this tournament is not to let things slip, now I already have eight wins. Mitake Umi, of course, had nine, and a chance to achieve his goal of double figures at the earliest possible step. His foe was the wrestler he faced on my first afternoon filming these bouts, 97 days of filming ago. But there was rather more at stake today, and something evidently different from yesterday. And Mitake was befuddled by the arm block. The same one merely brushed away by the man at ringside trying so hard not to smile. Neither combatant spoke afterwards, but Hokuto's coach, Chairman Hakkaku, said, Some praise for Hokuto Fuji, please. He's not the type to just whoosh forward like that, but today all that power was released in one go, and Mitake Umi likely wasn't expecting it. Mitake maybe played it too safe today, so I'll guess he'll want to leave it all out there tomorrow. Which means that thanks to the man for whom this attendant waits, he, with his fine record over Mitake, regains the advantage in this title race. I'm not thinking about others losing or playing catch-up, Tedu dubiously said, but simply on my own sumo and getting through these 15 days. The Yokozuna should meet Mitake on day 14, but what will happen in between? Let's begin to find out tomorrow. <laughs>